In our last lesson, uh, we made the sign-in page. We completed the sign-in page. So this is fine. We can go ahead and close the, the login page or sign-in page. In this lesson, we are going to work on the navigation for the posts page. So we're going to recreate uh, the top navigation. So right click and create a new file in Bootstrap blog. Uh, save this file as posts.html. Okay, and to get the contents, I'm going to cheat uh, by going to log in the HTML and select everything in there, uh, copy it, and then paste it here uh, for sake of speed. So we're now going to remove what we don't need. So everything in container, including container, I'm going to get rid of that. And uh, the CSS, we're going to get rid of this login CSS. We don't need that for post page and change this from login to posts. Okay, so this is our template uh, for posts. So if we go up here and open it up, uh, we have our blank posts page. Now to get the navigation, we'll go to Bootstrap, uh, click on components, and then down here we have navbar. So if we go to navbar, we have an example of a nav navigation bar, okay, which has a few contents. So click on copy to copy it and then we're going to paste it in the body of our document right here okay i'm going to select our navigation indent it a couple of times and there we go we have our navigation so save this and let's preview so preview we can see our navigation is there and there's a few uh, changes tweaks uh, to be made we need to add the brand. Uh, we'll change that to my name. So you could go ahead and do the same, change it to your name. So change brand to my name. Okay, so let's see, save this, reset. We can see it's changed. There's a few other things we need to get rid of. We don't need uh, this drop down and so on. We need to replace them with these four links. All right, so let's see. Uh, the li uh, with this drop down class is what we need to get rid of so delete that okay and we don't need this one neither now we have the form which is the search we don't need the form so i'm going to get rid of everything there all right so let's uh, save this and see what we've done there we go <coughs> Okay, so we need to add a few links. So I'm going to copy this and four times and change this so it reads as posts and change the link. So it's about, we also need to change this. So archive and change the last one to contact. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Reset is all good. The background is all um, active so if we have a look here we don't need everything active so I'm going to remove active from the rest of them and leave it only for posts so delete the class okay so now only uh, post is active so if we save this and then reset so it's all coming together looking good uh, so on the right side we have login we need to get rid of the drop down and change link to login. So let's do that. So we have here uh, the dropped list um, li. So get rid of that and then change link. Uh, so it says login. Okay, so save this and have a look. And we could see that our navigation is looking exactly um, like we need it to. So that's again um, the power of using uh, Twitter Bootstrap. Um, it helps us speed things up. So up here we have uh, our toggle bar, which helps us do something quite interesting. So if we reduce down to a tablet size, for example, you notice that our navigation has disappeared. So if I go back up, it reappears, go down, it disappears. So 
is a nice way of toggling um, our navigation. So it works by using data targets, which has an ID, uh, which matches up with this ID here. So when we resize, it finds this ID and it hides um, everything in there and it displays um, icon bars instead in its place like this. So we could click on the icon bar and it gives us um, our links. So it's a, a, a nice way of preserving um, space. And again, we didn't have to write any CSS or JavaScript ourselves. Everything is written and done for us using Twitter. And what we had to do is copy and paste and remember um, the names of the classes that we need. All right, so if we go into our Twitter bootstrap, uh, bootstrap.css, um, I you know, keep saying this, um, you should definitely come here and have a look uh, for yourself and learn um, a lot more about uh, how they've written some of the CSS you have here. You can also check the documentation online, which has a lot of information there. Okay, so in the next lesson, we'll concentrate on building, uh, using Twitter grid system to build our blog. And this is where we'll stop in this lesson. And I'll see you um, in the next lesson.